thank you, me. I'm also going to pick up this area here. Now, buying this knowledge is, uh, can add to your ability to make them unconscious. There's a thing called a parotoid gland here. It's a very, very thin sheet of muscle here that all the optic nerves and all the, all the nerves that go in the jaw pass through that. It's a fantastic one. You know when you slap somebody, if you don't, rather than just go for, the, go for their ear, if you slap them here, you pick up, that's why a, a slap's a very good one for knocking people out. Because it's, it not only does it shock the head, but you're picking up that parotid gland as well. It's a fantastic one, but we're punching today, okay? So, it comes in, I react, boom, blah, 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 and now I'm gonna go, and I wanna go, ah. Don't go, snapping, no, okay? The snapping punch uh, is a modern take on a, on a punch. And, and the reason you snap the punch is to limit the damage, because it's a, it's a sport technique. Okay? It doesn't cause a shake, it doesn't. Okay? If you don't, just try and do a snapping punch on the macro and see what happens. That's how you think you need to know. Okay? <laughs> He realizes he's in the ship, right? So when he goes like this. So this could be anywhere. So now my punch is going into the skull. Okay? If you need to be Mackie train, you don't want to be punching the skull. So what I'm going to do now is on the side line, but we will do all the stuff with the side. I'm now going to change the attack and take his side, but still creating a concussive action. I'm going to go, okay, and I'm going to slap his eyes. The idea there, have you ever, you know when you do, you know when you, you rub your eyes like this, right? Mm. And then you stop, right? And you go. How long is it before your vision comes back properly? Seriously. It's a good few seconds, isn't it? You know when you see all them little sparkles and kaleidoscope? Is it kaleidoscope? You know? And you know what? The older you get, the longer it lasts, eh? And, and when you get in your 50s, that's a high. <laughs> so, even you just rubbing your eyes, it takes your sight for a few seconds until your head clears. Imagine slapping you in the eye. Okay, so you've gone here. And his head's down. Yeah, even that, which is fantastic. I'm now just going to go, I'm going to slap him in the eyes. Same action. Okay? Intended target is his sight. The idea is when I slap him in the eyes, he will go, Enable me to do what? Yes! <laughs> I love that. Well, when you finish him off, rather than run off, mm. on the right hand, we have I react, boom, blur, boom, harm, and now I'm gonna go, and I wanna go. Ah. Don't go. Don't do this as well. Move. Okay? So that's <laughs> but you can do this in your own training, right? So if, this is what you do, you practice it, you go and in your ear, okay? That relates to that, okay? So if I go, yeah? Bastard. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work, okay? <laughs> and in this PC world, that's not going to go down well, is it? Okay, so we're here, and I go, and I go, 
control it. Okay? Again. Okay? That's a shot that would pop his jaw. The shit the jelly tops off top of his head. It's just a straight normal attack. You just straight it in the ground. Okay? Okay? So then we do the other side. Let's go through it all and I'll teach you. Right. Next common attack is where they try and put something over your head. Entirety actually, it's not no more than that, but there's a hell of a lot in that. Okay, that's just a very basic form. <laughs> Understand what's happening there? What? Yeah, yeah. Peripheral to uh, yeah. the active. So peripheral vision um, <coughs> is quicker than ocular vision or binocular vision, right? So it's kind of like, so if I'm directly looking at something, I have no understanding of speed. Okay? It's exactly, if you, if you stand on a motorway and a car's coming at 70 miles an hour, you won't, you won't realise whether it's 30, 50, 70, 150, you won't know until I get you. If you stand to the side of it, or to the if you stand so it's coming, you'll never realise the fast it is. Okay, so what's happening there with James is looking at it, he's out, what's got to happen there is the full process of a human being. He's let it go. Quick, grab it. Do it. Go to peripheral vision, there's none of that going on. It's just, you just react. Yeah, in peripheral vision, I don't even know how vision works, but when you go through the rods and cones in the eye and the peripheral starts to kick in, the peripheral vision is just reactional. Okay? Just reactional. Unless you've got something wrong with your eyesight, again, or you've got too many whiskies, then your periphery reactional starts to close mm -hmm. down. That's why I don't get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Once in Scotland. In like 10 years, I But in first, I was in, a, was in one pub all on our own, and I had all my students with me. So I could have a drink. Many people would have kicked up out of them, and you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, getting back to the vision. So, peripheral vision allows you to just react. If you do any high speed driving or anything like that, or even. Uh, Merchant ship, you know, we're doing John Wick stuff. 
Okay, that's not done with sat nav, done peripherally. If you're driving, uh, if you look at anything advanced driving by like the police and things like this, when they come to a junction, if they had to loop left and loop right to let someone will smash them, they go straight through it. Yeah? What they do is they just look this slightly peripheral. And if someone comes there, they'll react. They don't literally look what it is too late. Okay? So <laughs> just like a very, very simple I control this space. You can't control this space like this. Okay? And certainly can't control this space with your hand in your pockets. <coughs> you know, when you see uh, these young lads, you know, and, and the, the, the ride in each other's faces, I wish somebody would do that to me. <laughs> you know? I taste them. 100% I taste them. If that. But they won't get there. But you know what I mean? Okay? So, these hands are up. Every military force in the world through basic training is you train flinch. You've got a, your flinch response is an innate thing in you. Mm. As a human being, you want, somebody's only going to fly past your eyes and you flinch. Okay? So we need to uh, train that response. Everybody has this uh, built in process. Unless, unless there's something wrong with your sight or you're drunk. Okay? Worst, it, the first thing you do is the hands go up to protect your eyes and, and you go like this. So if the hands are able to come up, I did it this morning. I, I got, I went this, I got, come at my front door this morning, and one of the light up Christmas trees that was right, fell over. So I set, I've got, uh, in, instead of coping stone in front of my house, I've got a big timber box, right, because I'm a joiner. Right? <laughs> so I set on one of them, and I went, went straight off, it's all gone. Yeah, not a me, yeah, not a mark on me. Because immediately my hands went out and I saved myself from being very embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a whole different world this morning. And I've ended up with John Mary came on. Okay, so <coughs> when we fall, trick the hands come out. Okay? I've said it before, there's been cases where people have had a, a, car, a car accident at 70 miles an hour and gone through the windscreen with no, no seatbelt on. And they have glass in the hands. Because they've, even at that speed, that it, and, and they've not seen it coming, the hands go up to protect the face. So of course, when you through the windscreen, there's glass in the hand. So you, you, irrelevant to anything, unless you're intoxicated, where that, the first thing that goes is your ability to react. You'll use the flinch. As soon as you get pissed, you'll use the flinch. Yeah? Uh, well, we'll, um, I'll knock him out with that anyway, because it goes straight across all this, what makes you a human being. Okay? Uh, one of the things you need to think about as well, uh, which I'll throw in the mix now so you can understand it, is everything that you need to be a human being, every single thing that you need to be a human being, is here. All in that mix. Yeah? Fantastic target. Not many people attack the neck because it's like a taboo. You know, but, you, know you can't pass it from someone in the throat and go, do you want this probably to just get it wrong? Isn't that down to me, I'm a teacher, that you don't get it wrong? But the reality of it is, if I teach you to attack the neck, the throat and everything, learn you how to break necks, break, you know, break to clear and all things like that, isn't that not giving you a better chance if you get attacked? 
what it is. So it's the, it, everything you need to be a human being is here. You cut that. And they just get that lever shot. The guy goes, boom, shut down. Once that lever goes into spasm, okay, you're gone. But it's a hard shot to get. If it was, a, if, if it was easy, every fight would be <coughs> ever on a liver shot because it's so phenomenal when you get it, but it's not easy to get, okay? So, we come here and I've got some work. He covers his head. These not, it's not targets now, okay? But we'll, let, but we'll go back to it in a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop my elbow, okay, into his body cavity. I'm not aiming for his liver. I'm not aiming for his floating rib. I'm just going to drop that with as much might as I can into his body's cavity. I won't do it powerful now. It's not this. It's this. With everything I've got. And then, guess what happens? It's magic. I'm Paul Daniels. He's Devin McGee. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, I'm all the other to go through. <laughs> okay, watch. Drop your hands. No. Thank you. Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it later. So, covers his head, understanding. What I don't try and do now is, give me your head, you bastard. No. Understand. Drop the elbow. Straight into the body cavity. Everything. It isn't, even though I can, it's not. Oh. Drop everything. Okay. okay. What I'm not doing though is this. I'm not being cruel as well, I didn't do it, didn't do it hard. This is MP. I want to hit him with Hiji, the bone of the elbow, okay? Idea as well is as well as going to his body's cavity, solid. Bust a couple of ribs as well, yeah? In an ideal world, shove a couple of ribs into his lung or his liver. How good would that be? I hope this is not being good <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have a scenario training. All right, covers his head, takes away that the, the first two abilities. I drop and take his breath, and in, and then of course I can I will continue. Okay, right. so take the breath. That or reducing it. So by putting my hand on. Three. Great, so we've gone from a one to a three by just simply putting my hand. Do you understand what that's stopping? What that's stopping is that, or reducing it. So by me holding him, and it's removing some of his body's capability of flexing and moving out the way of the pain. But he didn't do that, which is fantastic. What did he do? It's like it, it's, it's in a lot of kata. You. It doesn't do that and you move to it. It always pulls. Yeah? So we went from a one to a three. Five. There you go. So the index is also better. So what he did, I'll do it to you. Yeah? I'll go for you. Yeah? He grabbed the head, did what you did. Okay, and he went one, two, three. Perfect. That is a lot more removing his ability to continue than just simply going. Do you understand? So these are levels, facets that we can add, which are good for us, and that are in kata, they're all in kata, uh, that the, the odds of you ending that fight quicker goes in your favour all the time. And this kind of thing, certainly for ladies, or if you're a guy or a lady, it doesn't matter who you are a train, this is the kind of skill that you need. You need to multiply an index to, to up your power. Do you understand that? Just very simply, we've gone from a 1 to a 5 by just moving him. So it's the same action here. <coughs> Rather than just going wham, if I grab his head, move him and bring him into it, I'll multiply it massively. That's why they're in kata a lot. Because that's what they are. 
they're an index multiplicator. Yeah? They're there for a reason. So, let's try Craig's. Be careful with the sight. Notice, which is interesting, is that he took the sight but weren't taking the eyes. You notice that? I, remember, I know you know the why. Hit the nose. Yeah, hit the nose. Smashing into the nose takes the eyes as well. You, you burst that nose, the eyes start to stream. They're all linked there. Perfect. Okay? But that's like the, uh, the, the boo clap. You know, rather than go, yeah, 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 we go. Back to Stephen Hawking's oh, going <laughs> Sorry. Please don't, please don't put this on YouTube. No, I'll leave you that out. <laughs> okay? So try that. And so understanding now that multiple, and what I want to say, try for your own thing. So that's why I use Craig and not one of my guys. Try the one, three, and five. That blow, when we did it, it was like, I don't, what? I have two scientists in here. How does it work? Yeah, I don't know. But it works. It's weird. It's something to do with the body's physiology, how it works, how you, how you relate to pain and how your body can control it and, and, and protect. It's weird. This is why in Catalyst 3, you need them 1 and 3 and 5. Mm -hmm. yeah, old mm -hmm. old uh, feeding crane and wet you. Okay? Try it. You'll be, you'll be amazed. Mm -hmm. okay. When it comes out into the brachial system, the, the brachial system, it stacks the nerve that tells your heart to beat, that tells your lungs to move, tells your, head, tells your diaphragm to lift. That nerve tells everything to work. So, when that comes in there and you've got, perfect, or, or, yeah, you okay with that? So, we're doing hers first, multiplying, okay? Okay, and try that. And then, Craig, you can do the next one. Okay. You can do the side one. Okay? So, why are you doing that thing? I'm going to do it. Okay? Right. Oh, I need mean, just kind of do it. That's it, yeah. You just do it even a step. Yeah. Yeah? So, he's kind of now into that range. So, I can move in, of course, because I've already told you you can move. But it gives me a perfect opportunity to take his mobility before I continue. So watch. So I'm going to use a technique, an Okinawan technique called Sunigiri. <laughs> right? Shink it. But it's a shink it with a difference. It's, it's, it's the way the, the wet you guys do it. So I'm not going to go this. Okay? I'm going to weaponize my shin. I'll do it now somewhere, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move over slightly, pick my ankle up as a whole, and just rotate my pelvis. But watch the difference on my shin bone. I've said this before, I think, to a lot of you. When you shin like this, have you ever seen any MMA fighters shin like that and, they, and their ankle dislocates? Right? It's because when you hit sort of some like arm size, when you hit that like that, what happens is the ankle does that. It will do, shoes or not, it doesn't matter. Right? And that's could this that could could in essence dislocate your own ankle. Right? Especially especially like something solid like that. So the wetchy guys, they never well I don't know where it comes from actually, but the, the wetchy guys have always done it this way. So if you, if you watch my shin bone, right? Watch. As soon as I make cushy, see that shin bone protrudes and the muscles change. This is proper sunigiri, this is to kick with this chin bone, okay? So what I do there, is I come over, lift it ever so slightly and just drop it in with a proper shin bone there, okay? Not, yeah, watch. You've got to feel it to believe it, and I'll come in and kick you off. I've not practiced it for ages, <laughs> <laughs> okay? Straight across the thigh. What that'll do is, even nice and light, give me a pain in one to ten, okay? Two. Two. Okay? Look, I'm, I'm only tapping him. 
He's gone there, I see that leg, and I will go BAM! And I will slam it into him as hard as I can. Intention is to do damage to that leg. If he goes, I will continue. Okay. So the ability is, is taking away his ability to continue. It's not a man stopper at this point. We're going to continue with that. Okay? So just understanding, it's kind of like, suppose this first section is like tools and targets. See what targets are available to you using the correct tools to for the best outcome. Okay? So you try it, you, well, I won't say nothing because I know as soon as you all start kicking like that, your partner will go, oh, I know they will. You'll love it. Amazing. <laughs> yeah? You've not got joiners' knees like me. Look at them. <laughs> Lack, lack of Billy Goat, Anna. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you're striking, are you striking down at an angle? Or yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if, if, we do, if we just did a bit sunny giving, then yeah. But the idea is to, is to cut and drop my mass. It's the kick itself. I use this like this time. The kick itself is good. Just doing that is good, right? But let's see if we can do it slow, right? As I come around like that, can you see what's happening? I'm not really using my shin bone, really. I am and I'm not. What I need is that yeah. to use my shin bone properly. So I lift, pick it up and I drop it down. So that, then I'm using my shin bone. You can tell the difference. You know when there's no noise, all that's gone inside there. <laughs> and that's a big time. If you got a if you got a gamble like that, <laughs> you still be eating it at Easter. <laughs> okay, try it yourself. It's a fantastic. It's just it's a, it's exactly it's, it's knowing the difference between when you punch, you don't use the whole hand here. You? you use the same. You don't use the whole of the shin. You use the blade of the shin bone by making cushy. Yeah? Yeah. Try it. It's, it's a you know it's a fantastic tool. Try that. Right. Right. Yeah. Hold of the fist. Well, more of the spin is small than anything. Not so This is the best one. Not many people know this one. What's that? I know you want to do this one. <laughs> Thanks for the door. So don't confuse me, that arm was already damaged. <laughs> I 
what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, just are you using them to weaponize them? <laughs> <laughs> Super, super, and then it was yeah put one up there into the jar second one was his head dropped for whatever reason and I went to take his Second one, covered his head, third one, sorry, covered his head up, take his Fourth one, kind of out of counting at the equation, enabling me to take a mobility shot. Okay? So, now a test for you. You're now going to do the one on the, we're going to do the inside one. Okay? So, throw a hook. So, you're going to go here and you're just going to cover. Okay? So, from this position, First one is I want you to, to what? Concussive. Concussive. Okay? Knock him out. Then I want you to take his side. Then I want you to take his breath. Then I want you to take his mobility from the inside. So you've already done Sotagala. Now I want you to do uh, Uchiga inside. It should be easier, really. And now what I'm feeling, the, and then you go. And then the, 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 the same principle. So I'm just thinking about handling him. But then today, what we've done is we've done the same kata, but we've thought immediately about violence, about dealing with that guy. Okay? There's many, many ways. Off that the wash of the kata, you can do anything you want. You could, we could do uh, more to that. Could you train the flinch? We could train the flinch and go straight to throws. Train the flinch and go straight to strikes. Train the flinch and go straight to chokes. You know, this way and here. You know, talking about breath. <laughs> Not many people do this one as well. You got this, taking the, uh, what's it called? The glottis. Yeah, yeah, the glottis. And everybody sets the panic, right? And then you do this, brilliant. <sighs> Just put, what's it? Best, what's the easiest way for someone's other way? What does you know in every assassin movie, right? When they when they stop and breathe, what do they do? Mm. Yeah, what up, yeah. Mm. I put a bag over their head, don't I? Mm. And also do a fair lot of money for that. <laughs> 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 That's my collection. <laughs> but that, <coughs> more, more than attaining a knockout from that, putting your hands, like, so, so from a washer cap, so we kind of go in here, and he's, and he's kind of there, and as I go in for it, I kind of cock it up a bit, right? And I've not got it. Fantastic get out to just do this. Mm. Right? It won't knock them out, but what do you think it'll do? Panic. I'm in panic mode. So again, I'm taking, you know, we're not, we, we haven't spoke about taking the mind today, but what, everything you do is going to take the mind. Every, every bit of pain makes you think about the pain. So if you want to knock him out, hit him in the legs first. Mm. So, ah, bam. Okay? So I've got like five minutes, I'll practice what you've done, then we'll have any questions, then we'll have a nice four. Okay.